Hello, dear participants of this online lesson. My name is Guzina Nagibova, teacher of computer science at Nazarbayev Intellectual School of Physics and Mathematics in Uraisk. The topic of this today's lesson is sorting and searching algorithms. Grade 11. The learning objectives of the lesson are students will be able to use uh, different types of searching and the sorting algorithms when they will solve particular problems. So to evaluate, to assess um, students' achievement of these learning objectives, I had to identify at the beginning of the lesson my students' learning needs. So for I gave them KWL chart, which um, which are here for K uh, columns, they had to uh, write everything uh, connected with the topic they already know. For W columns, they had to write uh, only the, uh, um, the particular questions they want to know during the lesson. For the L, uh, what I learned column, they had to fill it at the end of the lesson. Before I gave KWL chart, I provided um, interactive, interactive game for students. Uh, it's called Kahoot game. Uh, my students um, like this game, Kahoot game. So um, I included there some co concepts from the previous lesson about sorting and the searching algorithms. I had to identify who has uh, problems um, with understanding uh, the concepts correctly and uh, who is um, better doing with the learning objectives. So this was uh, my first uh, tool in identification of the uh, needs of my students. Uh, okay. This takes the data and it keeps dividing it in half until it finds the uh, search terms. Students. Next. This is an array, uh, but it's not sorted. And uh, what kind of searching algorithm you will use? It's not sorted. Yeah, you used uh, some kind of algorithm. Yeah? What did you have to do? 
Like changing the places of the yeah, colors. Yeah, to collect all the same colors. Yes, it means you had to sort, yeah, so, yeah, sort like this, to choose, choose all the uh, colors. So today we're going to continue sorting, okay? Binary search algorithm to solve a particle problem. Particular, mm -hmm. particular problem. Write an algorithm to implement an insertion in the bubble sort. Uh, to implement an insertion bubble sort. Okay, I share. Um, how many types of searching algorithm do you know? Two. Binary and linear. 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 How many types of sorting algorithm do you know? Well, sorting algorithm is three. Three, three types. Which one? Three types. Uh, bubble. Oh, yeah. Search. 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 So for now, I know some of you, or maybe all of you know already have the basic knowledge about this algorithm. So please fill this chart. So today you just about the two types of sorting here. We'll continue. Um, KWL chart to identify. Uh, from them uh, what they already know, what they want to know. So they only field completed uh, these two columns. This is, uh, first of all, uh, this is to identify students' uh, needs. Secondly, this is uh, very effective when uh, we discuss and identify success criteria for our learning objectives. Um, as I summed, uh, success criteria mostly were connected with uh, application, analysis, um, level of thinking, uh, according to Bloom's taxonomy. So mostly my students um, wrote that they uh, want to know how to use uh, for example, uh, how to use insertion sort and the bubble sort in solving problems and uh, what is, um, how it looks like, looks uh, the algorithm of this sorting uh, algorithms, and they mostly focused on the implementation. And also one of the main uh, aspects of the lesson was uh, to focus on the evaluation of effectiveness of um, particular type of sorting algorithms. Computer science subject in grade 11 classes we teach in English. As you know, English is a third language for our students. So language uh, skills, development of language skills is the most important part of my lesson. Sorting, sorting mean mm -hmm. and the type, types of the sorting, mm -hmm. the bubble selection, uh, insertion. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to know more about difference between insertion and the bubble sort. Difference between insertion and bubble sort very good. I know about the selection and bubble sort. Mm -hmm. So we know that three types of sorting, selection, bubble, and insertion. Mm -hmm. We know that searching has uh, like two types, linear and binary. Linear. Yeah, linear and binary. Mm -hmm. So and we know the mm, methods of how to do liner like step by step algorithm okay you already know very yes. good what i want to know is it's a difference between bubble uh, sort and insertion sort okay and bubble difference between them i know that the passive type is insertion mm -hmm. and what i want to know is uh, how we should uh, solve the particular problems by uh, this algorithm Okay, language objectives of my lesson where uh, students will be able to state the definitions of the uh, sorting and searching algorithms and explain the algorithm 
of particular type, type of sorting or searching algorithm and also uh, they ab will be able to compare different types of algorithms. Um, also the useful phrases uh, to use in the lesson uh, where, um, where uh, the simplest um, the simplest algorithm is this, for example, and um, this algorithm is more effective than this algorithm, and they had to justify why. And also, both of algorithms are similar. Uh, both of algorithms had such uh, advantage and disadvantage. Keywords uh, for the lesson are searching, sorting, binary searching, linear searching, bubble sort, insertion sort selection sort, best case, worst case, and the average case. Uh, this all concept they already have covered um, at previous lesson. As I said, uh, we focused mostly on practice. First of all, practice of um, algorithms, writing algorithm, correct algorithm type, and the secondly, practicing using programming language. So, first part is um, students uh, were taken um, type of uh, sorting algorithms. For first group I gave a flip chart uh, with um, cells on it uh, and then for the second group I gave, uh, I asked them to do on the board. So uh, how I divided into two groups, it mostly connected with their levels. How you Right on your copybook, each step, each step, okay? This how is the initial, this is the initial. Yeah, yeah, yeah? but as how do you write it? Here, in the first step, what will be, how this will be changed? For example, this, yeah? This will be the first. Do you agree? No. No, no? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you have to remind you what is bubble sum, okay? okay? This is your initial position. We need to write it in our On your copy books, yeah. First step, second step, so you will get one table. Bubble sort. How, how I divide it into high and the low, uh, high achievers and the low achievers, um, mostly while completing, uh, while playing Kahoot game, who scored um, most of the scores and the who scored the less of the scores, they were divided into two groups. Here. This is the first line. Just. Yeah, what uh, this shows you? What this shows you? This is the biggest, the biggest, the biggest one. one. Yeah, we'll go to the right. This is the first step. Second step, what will be? Third step. So then we compare four you with each everyone. Comparison for each line. Mm -hmm. be then we compare four with each one. Yeah. The second step, we should compare five and six. Then we'll compare uh, two, four, three, and six. Yes. Yeah. 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 Very good. Yes. Yeah. Then we'll compare one to this one. Go. No, Go. seven. Yeah, two, seven. It's more. It's no. each other. First. Okay. How many steps do you have? Four. Four. Only four. So, uh, this is what kind of sort? It is insertion. 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 Uh, last lesson, you said that insertion faster than bubble, but in, in this case, in this situation, uh, uh, bubble sort has only three steps, uh, and the insertion has four steps. Uh, why do you think? Why does it happen? Yeah, how do you think? Why this happens? Because we have different uh, it's a random yeah. position of numbers. It depends on the position, position of numbers. numbers. Uh, we have different. After this demonstrating task, I gave students um, pro fragment of program with gaps in it. Uh, students had to identify uh, which um, keyword or which kind of data type should be um, in this. Um, gaps. Uh, first group who, uh, who get um, task for bubble sort, they 
uh, completed uh, quick than the second group who had um, algorithm with insertion sort. So I identified uh, students, they uh, have uh, more difficulties with insertion sorting, with programming of insertion sorting. But, uh, however, however, while uh, programming these uh, algorithms, I mostly paid attention on the I mostly try to explain insertion algorithms more than bubble sort, bubble uh, sorting algorithms because for students bubble sorting algorithm um, didn't make any difficulties. After uh, students uh, discussed uh, two types of bubble and insertion sort, they uh, discussed also the effectiveness of two um, effectiveness of these two kind of uh, sorting algorithms. As uh, they identified, mostly uh, for them it was effective to use insertion sort um, rather than bubble sort. Uh, However, for them to program it uh, was um, more difficult. After they practiced, I gave them one more task, is to write a program that will sort the numbers by ascending in an array using bubble and insertion sort. For example, here you can see the numbers uh, in different order that they had to, um, they had to sort this. And the first group used bubble sorting type and the second group insertion sorting type. At the end of the lesson, as I said, I asked students to fill to complete the last column, which is called what I learned in this lesson. Here, uh, they had to compare what they wrote here. Uh, they wanted to know at the beginning of the lesson and they um, evaluated themselves how they achieved the uh, uh, answer to their questions. And uh, this, is mean, this means um, they self-evaluated each um, their own progress. So um, this kind of activity gave, gives me uh, opportunity to monitor and to control the process happening, learning process happening in my classroom. Thank you that you were with us till the end of this online lesson. Goodbye.